Hello everyone and welcome back to the Glosser channel. I'm here today with Dr. Judy Wileyman to discuss her concerns regarding the situation with vaccines in Australia during the time of the COVID pandemic. Welcome to the program, Judy. How are you doing today? Thanks, Robert. Very well, thank you. Now, you have quite a long background uh, expressing your concerns and researching your concerns in regards to vaccinations in general. Obviously, the public are hearing a lot about vaccinations these days because of the coronavirus, but your research predates coronavirus by quite a long period of time. Can you give us a bit of background detail on what got you on this path of looking into vaccinations? Yes, um, I got onto this path probably in, around the early 1990s uh, because I was a science teacher in the schools and um, during that time we had noticed a, a huge increase in chronic illness in children over that entire decade of the 90s. Um, chronic illness has started to increase, particularly allergies and anaphylaxis, um, ADHD, speech delay and neurological disorders, um, you know, and of course autism. And um, I guess I was having my own children at the time and um, I realised that the um, schedule of vaccines that children were now getting, you know, had tripled since, you know, the days when we grew up. And um, it, it occurred to me that this was an environmental factor that was being injected into uh, pretty well every child. And could it be the cause of some of this increase in chronic illness that we're seeing? So this would mean you had concerns along the lines of vaccines having side effects that were perhaps not being openly addressed by the medical fraternity when they were, for want of a better term, unleashing vaccines on the public? Is that it? You're saying there were significant side effects? That's absolutely correct. And um, at the time, you know, as a science teacher, I was seeing comments in the media, you know, um, that people were saying that that was junk science, talking about the risks of vaccines, any papers that were produced regarding the risks of vaccines. Everyone was being told that was just junk science through the mainstream media. And um, I knew it wasn't because I'm a science teacher and I was examining um, peer-reviewed articles. So I went back to university around 2004 uh, to... Um, you know, investigate the literature to make sure that vaccinating my children with 12 vaccines was the correct thing to do. Were these vaccines forced, compulsory, mandatory, or were, were they optional?